Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cece De Silva and today we are talking about mom guilt and dad guilt and parent guilt. Whoever you are as a parent, the guilt that you feel that you're not doing enough for your child. Being a mother, being a father, being a parent is one of the most wonderful things that you can be in life. And I wouldn't change this for the world, but it is also a very big life change. Having a baby is literally overnight doubling your responsibilities. And when things don't get done around the house, your normal responsibilities and you are lacking and you can't get to all your responsibilities, which you probably won't be able to do, then you feel inadequate and you feel guilty. These type of guilty feelings are normal and most people experience this, but if it becomes overwhelming, try to do some of the steps that I'm going to give to you guys to try and relieve the guilt and to get over feeling so guilty about things that we cannot control. So there's little triggers that can lead to you feeling guilty. Things like you're going back to work or you are not getting to all your responsibilities around the house or people giving you unwanted parenting advice. Those type of triggers can make this guilt feel more overwhelming and can trigger this. These type of things can make you feel guilty when you spend time on things for yourself or you're at work or you're not with your child. Unchecked guilt can be very damaging and it can lead to unhealthy behavior and depression. How can we manage the mommy guilt or the daddy guilt or the parent guilt? First, you need to help yourself. So when you get in an airplane before they take off, the flight attendant always tells you what to do, where to go, where's the exit and stuff. But they also tell you when there's an emergency, you have to put your mask on yourself first to get oxygen and then assist your child. Why do they do this? They do this because if you can't breathe, you can't help anyone else. This is wonderful parenting advice. You need to look after yourself first and you need to love yourself first. Spend time on yourself, go for a pedicure, Go drink coffee with a friend. Spend time on yourself. Looking after yourself and loving yourself is one of the best things that you can do for yourself and your child. Secondly, share your responsibilities. If you have a partner, ask them to participate and ask them to take some of the responsibilities and take over some of the duties if they're not doing this already. If you are a single parent, seek out a network of other single moms or other single dads that can help you to split like babysitting duties or where you can just go and have a coffee and talk about what you guys are experiencing. Downtime and friendship is very beneficial for your mental health. Thirdly, surround yourself with positive people. People who encourage you and that will build you up people who support you in this role as being a parent. The people who don't support you, avoid them. Avoid the people who are trying to tell you that you are not doing your best and that you are not a good parent. Avoid the naysayers that's trying to make you feel guilty and trying to judge you. The next thing that you need to do is you need to recognize irrational thought. A common example of this is when you get back to work from maternity or paternity leave and you are constantly thinking about your child, thinking that your child is being harmed by you not being there, thinking that your child is not getting enough attention or not getting all the benefits of having you with them. These thoughts are negatively impacting you at your job where you're supposed to focus and do your best. It's harder for you to go back to work than it is for your child to let you go back to work. Trust the caregiver with your child most of the children thrive and flourish with both parents being in full-time job. The first thing that you need to do is avoid the bragging game. I know parents love their children and they love to brag about how their children are doing and how quick they're walking, how quick they're doing something. But do not engage in this. If you engage in this, the comparisons will make you feel guilty if your child's not doing something like another child. So avoid this bragging competition between parents completely. You and your child are unique. Just embrace yourself as a parent and embrace your child. The next thing is you need to nourish your relationship. So once you have a little one, all the other relationships in your life take a back seat. But be careful, just nourish your significant other's relationship. 
by spending time with your partner is beneficial for you and your child. Children learn by seeing your example, seeing you have a strong, healthy relationship. So if you can't manage a weekly date night, make time for each other each day. Although it might only be 10 minutes a day, but just spend that 10 minutes as couple time and catch up on what's going on in your life. But nourish your relationship with your partner. And lastly, talk to a professional. If this guilt stops you from enjoying your life and prevents you from enjoying the things that your child has to offer and the little moments, rather speak to a professional. Get professional help to help you work through this guilt. I hope this can help you if you are also struggling with mom guilt or dad guilt or parent guilt. I really wish someone would have told me about this before I had my child. But here I am now telling you this, so I really hope this can help you. Just know that you are doing your best. You are a good mother. You are a good father. If your child is taken care of, they are fed, healthy, and you're giving them all your love, I'm here to tell you, you are doing a good job. Do not criticize yourself or break yourself down if you can't get to everything. It is very difficult to be a new mom or a new dad. So, I hope this can help you guys. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do videos every week on how we can improve ourselves or how we can overcome things like this video, like mom guilt, how we can overcome this and what we need to look out for. Please leave me a comment down below to tell me if you want me to make a video about something else. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.